What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Today I'm going to be showing you how to completely item lock your opponent out of the game while taking huge knockouts with Gengar and Mimikyu Tag Team GX. Let's take a look. This is Gengar and Mimikyu Omastar. This list was originally piloted by Alex Shemansky to a top 64 finish at the 2019 World Championships. Now there have been a lot of sets released since then and a lot of really cool updates to this powerful archetype from the Cosmic Eclipse set, as well as both Sword and Shield sets so far. The idea of the deck is to Horror House GX with Gengar and Mimikyu early. Horror House GX for one Psychic Energy makes it so your opponent can't play any cards from their hand during their turn, effectively buying you an extra turn. If you go first, you can attach and then turn two. Use Horror House GX to fill both yours and your opponent's hands to seven cards, which is really powerful for setting up. Also really powerful for just giving you an extra turn. If you go second, you can turn one Horror House GX. Your opponent can't play any cards from their hand. Usually they just pass it right back to you. And then you can evolve into Omastar. Omastar has got an ability Fossil Bind, which reads as long as you have fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, they can't play any item cards from their hand. And item cards make up the backbone of almost every deck in the standard form at right now so we're going to evolve our identified fossil into omastar using rare candy to skip the middle evolution stage and we also have evolution incense alex Schmansky didn't have access to evolution incense at the world championships when he originally played this deck had to rely on pokemon communication there's so many new cards that come out that actually really help this archetype being able to use greens exploration for the rare candy as well as the evolution incense make for a very quick and consistent omastar lock and after a turn one horror house gx turn two omastar you'll use fossil bind in combination with poltergeist to start swinging for the fences now you might say andrew what if your opponent doesn't have a lot of item cards in their hand well we've got plenty of ways to fix that first of all we've got peaking red card your opponent reveals their hand you may have your opponent count the cards in their hand and you shuffle those cards in their deck and they draw that many cards so maybe they have an eight card hand but there's not many item cards in that hand you can use peaking red card and switch their hand you know they shuffle it into their deck and they draw eight new cards giving you an opportunity to potentially hit for more damage with poltergeist we have also got surprise box and this is actually a really crazy card to include in the deck it's from unbroken bonds you put a card from your opponent's discard pile into their hand and with that artwork there the gengar coming out of the box right it makes you wonder, is this card just designed to go perfectly with Gengar and Mimikyu Tag Team GX? At first, it seems really cheesy, like, how could a strategy that gimmicky actually work? But Surprise Box is actually surprisingly broken in this deck. You can Green's Exploration for some Surprise Boxes. You can Green's Exploration for Double Surprise Box, increasing your damage on Poltergeist by 100, which is awesome. You can also build Analysis into the Surprise Box to... Uh, pull off big knockouts and then the combination of peaking red card as well as the prize box allows you to take a look at your opponent's hand see exactly what they have and then surprise box if you need to in order to boost your own damage output the world championships alex Shemansky played a bunch of coach trainers instead we've got cynthia and caitlin now which is amazing in combination with boss's orders because we can cynthia and caitlin and grab Mallow and lana back from the discard pile we can grab boss's orders back from the discard pile various cards that'll help us uh help us create our win conditions which is really powerful so i love the addition of cynthia and caitlin in this deck it really kind of feels like expanded rallet and alolan executor with the item lock and all of that it feels very similar to that with the cynthia and caitlin's and the Mallow and lana's and the greens explorations and all of that it is a very powerful deck and pretty easy to set up we also have three copies of power plant turning off to dene gx's and things like that also great for just turning off random abilities zero aura gx as well as weavile gx if you happen to be playing against a dark box deck i think that this deck is very cool there's a lot of different ways you could go with this we still have a bunch of healing in the deck two great potions as well as four mixed herbs as well as two malo and lana so plenty of resources 
to help you keep your Gengar and Mimikyu alive since you're really not going to want to let Gengar and Mimikyu get KO'd. You're going to want to try and keep this thing alive as long as you can because at most you're usually only going to power up two Gengar and Mimikyus, but sometimes you can win the game with just one, especially if you heal it enough. You could take this strategy and instead of playing the mixed herbs and the great potions, you could play a wait and see hammer and you could play some crushing hammers and play more of a disruptive version of the deck. I think both versions of the deck, both the healing, tanking version, as well as a disruptive hammer version are both viable options for this powerful deck. And I think the air balloon is also one of the most busted cards in the deck because you can just slap it onto your Omastar previously. There was no easy way to just switch your Omastar out of the active. It happened to get drug into the active position. Air balloon is amazing for that. You could just put air balloon on your Omastar and then you can just Mallow and Lana healing your Gengar and Mimikyu 120 damage and then switch into the Omastar air balloon back into your Gengar and just keep plugging away with that. This is a really exciting deck to play. I definitely recommend giving it a try if you like item lock decks or you think that this kind of strategy could be fun to try and win with. Definitely check it out. If you haven't already, make sure to check out fullgripgames.com for all your trading card game singles as well as fullgripcodes.com for instant PTCGO code delivery. We've got the trainer toolkit codes available on fullgripcodes.com now, so definitely check that out. Supporting the shop at Fullgrip Games directly supports the content we create here on Tricky Gym. Enjoy the gameplay. Can I win a game with this deck? Press one if you think deck's gonna be broken. We're winning a game with it. Easy. First game out. Press two if you think we're going 0-3 with this baby. Two for we're going 0-3. One for easy. Oh, I got I got a lot of believers in the deck in the chat. We're weak to dark. This is bad. <laughs> oh god. What are you doing with that Umbreon and Dark Cry, bro? <laughs> Switch two, two. I should have put weakness guard energy in the deck. All right. Energy spinner and a fossil, right? Okay, go here, Fossil, and we Horror House GX, and then uh, we go from there. It's fine. No, 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 no. We're, uh, we're, we could potentially knock out the Umbreon and Darkrai next turn. Okay, I think we Bill's Analysis. First, I'm going to poke a gear. Ah, no, the evolution incense was in there. All right, now we have to have Bill's analysis and hope we hit it. All right, we got it. We got the item lock next turn. But not this turn, unfortunately. Okay. So, we peek. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bro, would I like them to shuffle their hand in their deck and draw the many cards? No. All right, we go here. Poltegeist. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> oh, it's that easy, chat. Yeah, it's that easy. I told you. Told you we could win with this deck, chat. Yeah, we had some haters. Didn't think we could do it. Yeah, didn't think we could do it, huh? Ah, an Alolan Persian. That seems bad. <laughs> I see. They have figured me out. And you going in with a gigantic hand again, huh? That's fine. There's not too much you could do with one energy. I think we're hanging in there. I could potentially reset stamp them to a new six card hand. But I know that this hand probably has a lot of 
trainers in it. I'm gonna give me the type null. Um, okay. So we're gonna go greens exploration to get tag call and evolution incense. Right. Oh, I have power plants. I can turn off the Alolan Persian. Easy. Okay. Yeah. Illusion Incense. We're going to grab Omastar. Huh. So I can just go for the reset stamp Poltergeist. I think I might as well. No, I don't want to put that down. Now I could tag call, attach another energy to a bench Gengar Mimikyu just in case. But I don't think they could red and blue into the Alola Meowth. That's actually kind of troubling. So I think we do have to probably tag call. Start to get another one of these boys built up. I'm going to stamp them up to six. Oh, yeah. I forgot we have surprise box in this deck. That's nuts. Yeah, we're just going to poltergeist. Ah! That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Only one. Swell? I haven't prepared for swell yet. That's fine. I still think we can win. I know I shut off my snail, but I'm they like they can't bench anything else though. I didn't here's the thing, is if I take the knockout there, then we I shut off my own snail anyway. I know. It's still worth it to shut off my snail, chat. It's still worth it, I promise. Now I've shut off the greens, but it's still worth because if they bench one more thing, like Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if they bench one more thing, we're chilling. Chillin', chillin'. Okay, we're gonna, you know, start to go in on those. I'm just looking for an energy, which is why we're playing it. And also getting a boss's orders there is good. It's fine, I'm just gonna keep Keep the poke gears and stuff in my hand. We're just gonna swing poltergeist. Nothing. Ah, nothing. That's fine. And they top deck one. It is a little unfortunate that all of our attacks in this deck, all of our attacks in this deck, uh, you know, require our opponent to have like a gigantic hand. Which is crazy. I do think we should probably play a great catcher in here. For sure. Something that you can... Okay, so now they've put themselves under item lock. Now we have power plant. Um, I could boss's orders. We bosses orders up the big boy. There we go. Now they've got Mallow and Lana in their hand, but they'd have to discard like two. They wouldn't really be doing anything. Well, Matt. The original concept of the deck did get top 64 at the World Championships. So it, you know, there are things that can work about it. I'm pretty sure I've used all of my, yeah, basic energy. I just have the four horror psychics left. It's fine. We're going to Cynthia and Caitlyn. Yeah, I just want to dig further into the deck. Get a boss of swords back. 
And we could surprise box and put items back into their hand. We're not going to do that quite yet, I don't think. I think they have one card left in their hand, right? I uh, will surprise box one. Yeah. We'll put... It's like the worst one, Pokemon Communication. Yeah. Put that back into their hand. We're going to Poltergeist. Cool. So now we're hitting for like a decent amount of damage. I think a Dragapult would be cool. If you could actually set up like Dragapult or something like that. I think... Oh, the top deck red and blue. That is so nuts. I still have Power Plant in play, though. So, like, it's fine. They can't move that energy. They just have a zero-card hand. It's very odd. Okay. So, again, we're looking for, like, surprise boxes. So, let's Bills. There we go. And we go surprise box, give him a Pokemon communication. Surprise box, give him another one. And we give him the Poltegeist. Yeah, 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 yeah. insane. There we go. Now we're hitting for like 100 every turn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody one. Yup. First game out. Easy. <laughs> Yup. And we're in like complete control of the game. And with the boss's orders, I can make sure that I'm like softening up Pokemon before I take a knockout. Yeah. We're just gonna sit I'm gonna hit this this Weavile too. I just wanna draw more. Okay. I think we just poltergeist here. See what's in their hand. Three. Very good. All right, I got three dead cards in their hand. They get the swell. No. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. I think the horror psychic energies are proving to be a little bit weak because I can't guarantee them for myself, right? I'll probably find one off of this Marnie, though. Yeah, there it is. Things are getting a little ugly here, chat. Got a big charm and a tag call. Okay. A little bit ugly. But I can knock out the Weavile, though. So we're totally fine. Totally fine. <laughs> Get those twos out of here. Get those two. We are totally fine. Guess I'm getting the greens back. You know we're taking a big knockout here. Yup. Wait, two? Oh no, they have plenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 280 damage. Easy. They can't accelerate more. All I have to do is find boss's orders for game off the poke gear bring up either you know bring up that thing finish it off ah you don't like my man do you um poke gear Air balloon. Surprise box? 
But I can't knock it out because I need a... Well, they can't move their energy. So I think I'm just chilling. Like, they're not attacking this next turn. I'll put this here, and we're just going to pass. Yeah. I don't want to waste any of these resources. We kind of have to wait. At this point, like, the Omastar has already done what it needs to do. I do not, you know, they have to get rid of that hand because it's got too many trainers in it. They're still trainer. They're still item locked. Like they can't play any of their items right now, which is hilarious. Lusamine would be good in this deck. Yes, we could play Lusamine for sure. I don't mind that. All right, we win, chat. I believe. Surprise box. Pokemon communication back into your hand. And let's see. Three items I knock out this. I need four no matter what. So we're going to go for the Silvalli. Poltergeist. No! Three. Oh my gosh. We're so close. It's insane. Yeah, something to get rid of the swells for sure would be very good. We need something to kick the swells. First game out, chat. Told you. First game out. I think that uh, the healing cards are probably just not as strong as they used to be. So I think that uh, we may end up just having to cut kind of all of those healing cards because... Basically, everything is like one-hit KOing. You might just go for Mallow and Lana now. Would I like to go first? No, I think we want to go second and get the turn one Horror House. Yeah. And then also you get to Energy Spinner for multiple energies, which is really cool. Yeah, I think that we would have to run something else. Something else. The healing seems much worse. Like those, the mixed herbs, doing, you know, healing 90 is just not as big of an appeal as it used to be. Also, uh, at the World Championships, there was no hand, there was no, no real supporter-based hand disruption, right? So this list is from the World Championships, so... Thinking about it, like, Reset Stamp was the only hand disruption, and if you set up Omastar, then they can't be Reset Stamped. So, uh, I think that uh, we probably would prefer to... Well, now we can get Marnied is the thing, right? So, with Marnie in the format, you know, our hand can get disrupted over and over again, even if we're, like, setting up pretty well. It also gives you know, your opponent a good opportunity to kind of take their whole hand and just chuck it onto the bottom of the deck if they've got a hand that is not super great for them. Deft Greymon said, I played myself. You were drawing trash. Oh, well, not as much as I was. My hand, Deft Greymon, you could not see how bad my hand was. My hand was not looking... Super nice. It actually had nothing in it. We were actively going to do nothing. Let's see, so they got scoop up nets. They got Jirachis. They got to Denny's. I mean, they're really just doing a whole bunch of stuff over here. Fion's a little bit scary. So they could potentially Fion, you know, up something on my bench, which is kind of annoying. But fortunately, they don't have an energy down on a Pikram yet. I think energy disruption would be stronger in this deck. I agree. I think you would want to play, like, hammers instead of uh, the healing cards. Because 240 HP is just not enough, right? Cool. We've got some good stuff. This is, like, an amazing opening for us. So we can go get energy spinner to get some energies. And we can go get... 
What else did I want? The fossil. Yeah. Elder Squirtle. Thank you, Elder Squirtle, for the sub. Appreciate you. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. Three months, Elder Squirtle. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully you're having a busted day. Okay, we got this. Got the fossil. Can this thing retreat? This card cannot retreat. Um, okay, so we're going to go here. They won't be able to attack me, but they could gust up my fossil, which is annoying. So I'm going to go Horror House GX. They can't play any cards from their hand. And then... Yo, C. Torres, what <laughs> What is the deal with the shrimp thing? Why is that a thing? Please inform. All right, now they can't play any cards from their hand. They can, you know, suction up my fossil, but they can't do anything to it, so that's fine. So then this turn, I go greens. And I get myself Rare Candy and Air Balloon. Yeah. And we go... Yeah, Rare Candy and Alma Star. And then... I don't actually want to attack them. Because I think I would rather, like... Because then I, I, I break the item lock. If I attack them, I break the item lock. So I'm thinking, like, I probably want to just attach here and pass. Cool. And then, uh, since they've got a gigantic hand... I guess I'm going to, hmm, I guess I'm digging for the boss's orders is what I want. Right? So we're not going to attack because then we break the item lock and we want them to have the item lock. So we want them to buy into the item lock. Just be like, okay, you're going to have to bench some other Pokemon. I already know this. You know, and I kind of want the boss's orders. So, and they have a gigantic hand. I think we absolutely need to play... We need to play a great catcher in this deck as well. We're learning a lot about the deck as we're like playing. Yeah, we need to play a great catcher because boss's orders is like obviously what we want to do most of the time. But uh, sometimes you want to be able to greens, I think, for it. Which is cool. It's just this weird situation. They can play the Thunder Mountain, that's fine, but they can't switch. So, and they can't play a skateboard. You know, so we're going to Bill's analysis this next turn, I think. That or we just bosses or I mean, there's no way. Yeah, yeah, we don't just bosses orders. Yeah, so now they've committed. They put down another Pokemon. This is good, right? We definitely just Bill's analysis, and I hope for... Ah, uh, it's not quite what I wanted. Big Charm's cool. Energy Spinner, give me one more energy. Take the Cynthia, Caitlyn, and the Big Charm. Yep. Okay, I like this. Now I can take the Knockout. We just Poltergeist. Yep. They've got a lot of cards, a lot of items in that hand. They can play Mallow and Lana. So that's all four of those are trainer cards. All four of them. Now they can use Boltund and they can accelerate. But I know they've at least got four. They can Mallow and Lana. Oh, okay. I actually have the Mixed Herbs in my hand, which is kind of hilarious. But it's not great. Let's see. Cynthia and Caitlin. Here's where, like, the healing would be very good, huh? Let's 
So here the healing actually works. Heal 90. Heal the special condition. I still have 200 HP. They're under item lock. They can't do anything. I don't think I reset stamp. Because I know their hand stinks. So we're just going to poltergeist. Yeah, all four items that they cannot play. Let's go! This is insane, bro! That's insane! The double mixed herbs actually really were... They were perfect. They did exactly what they had to do. I, I no longer am on board with the cutting the mixed herbs thing. So now they're just stuck. They have four item cards in their hand that they cannot play. And they can Lightning Ride GX for 150. Still not a knockout. They go to the bench. I've got boss's orders in my hand. They've got no more energy in play. I know that their hand is four trainers right now. I know it is. I can Mallow and Lana and knock out the active, which is interesting. That heals me 120. But they can always hit. I have to, I have to like, I have to go for the Raichu, right? I think I have to. Yeah. Yes. So if they top deck an energy, what, they're doing 340 damage with their bolt hunt? But if they don't if they don't top deck anything to do right here, I literally got boss's orders on Dedenne and it's game over. That's it. They'd have to find a Marnie off of this to stop me. Insane deck. No! No! <laughs> no! This is still good. This is really good. I actually like this hand a lot. It's totally fine. Okay. So we go... Tag call... I either draw cards or I heal. I don't want to break the item lock. I feel like healing would be insane. Just heal and take the knockout. But then we're two to two and they can play their items. But maybe it's correct to just start setting up another Gengar. Yeah, just go here. Yeah, this is this is optimal. All right. I think so. Okay, yeah, we're going to Cynthia and Caitlyn. And I'm just going to get the boss's orders back. That's it. And then I just pass. Insane. There we go. Okay. And now they can't switch because... They can't switch, okay? Because reasons. There's reasons they can't switch. It's part of the part of the deal, and because uh, they got Jirachi in the active, they could hard retreat into Boltund and hit me for forty. Forty is not going to be enough, so we just pass. Put an energy here and pass. There, and then next turn we go double surprise box. Gust up the Dedenne GX. Game over. Yeah. Yo, this deck is broken, though. Broken deck. Almost our insane Pokemon. No, do not Marnie me again. I did not give you permission. Do not do that. Do not. It's not part of the deal. No. Man, this hand is worse. <laughs> I do finally have the power plant, though. That's fine. We can we can get rid of their their stuff. Okay, we've got the Mallow and Lana too, which is huge. So we can tag call, go get another Cynthia and Caitlyn back, as well as another Gengar and Mimikyu. Poke year, see if I find the game winning boss's orders potentially. I do not. We can get Bills though, and then I feel like we just Mallow and Lana power plant Mallow and Lana pass.
Yeah. Do that. And then pass. Yeah. And then this is good because the Malo and Lana, we completely heal our Gengar. They're the Jirachi being active, like this is such a power play here because then, uh, you know, we know that they can't, they can't scoop up net. They can't escape board. They can't switch, right? So, and they, if they Stellar Wish, they're just adding another trainer to their hand. There's no more bosses orders in the discard pile, no. So that wasn't an option for us. Oh no, Tweed, this this kind of deck is never quick. <laughs> this is a very, very, very grindy methodic methodical deck for sure. Okay, we didn't get the cards we needed there. We do want peaking red card and greens is pointless. No. It's cool. All right, we'll grab those and pass. I think we just leave the uh, almost our active. And then if they ever like bring up Boltund and start attacking it, then that's fine because then they break my item lock and they allow me to use greens. Oh, this is really interesting. I think that, you know, a deck like this definitely benefited from a lot of the cards that were released. Um, a lot of cards that were released in Sword and Shield and Rebel Class, Cosmic Eclipse as well. Uh, the tag... The tag engine is insane for this deck. We just took like the backbone of Alex Shemansky's top 64 worlds list. We can just get that. We're going to go for another bills. And there's the boss's orders. Great. So we just wait one more turn. Burn this card because we don't need it. And we pass. And then next turn, unless they have another Marnie, we should just be able to boss his orders up the Dedenny and probably finish it off, especially with the surprise box in our hand. We just surprise box an item out of their discard pile. Let's see. They are going to research, so they know that their hand is like kind of dead. We got the research there. And again, the Jirachi just weirdly stuck. You know, they can hard retreat it, but then they're doing what? 369, 900 damage to my Omastar. We know that they can't play Electro Powers. I think that this deck would have a hard time against Dragapult, right? I mean, that's probably the toughest part about it. Dragapult using its, uh, oh, my opponent completely committing to the item lock here. All of these bench Pokemon. They could bring up my Gengar, but they can't do 200 damage to it. Yeah. Dragobolt would could very easily knock out your Omastar, which is tough. But the deck is probably stronger than you would have thought in this meta, which is cool. I think Gengar Mimikyu is just inherently a very strong card. You know, Horror House GX is really crazy. Omastar is inherently strong as well. All right, chat, let's go. I should have I should have peaked first. What are we what are we working with over here? One, two, three, four, five. Oh baby. Uh no. Surprise. Give me the Electro Power. Boss's orders. Give me the chonky one. Well played. Well played. Yes, Mimikyu Trainer. GG's.
crazy deck, chat. There we go. Gengar and Mimikyu with the Omastar. It actually worked. It worked not once, but twice. And we actually beat a Picarum and we beat a Dark Box. And that's it for the Gengar and Mimikyu Omastar deck. Let me know what you think of the deck in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell. Did I mention sub to the channel? Do you know only half the people who watch Tricky Gym actually subbed? Thank you all so much for everybody. Subs to the YouTube channel. We are working our way towards 60,000 subs. Much, much appreciated. Also, make sure to check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Tricky Gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. We've got an amazing community over there. So big props to everybody who has already given the Twitch channel a follow, twitch.tv slash Tricky Gym. Make sure to check out fullgroupgames.com for all your trading card game singles, as well as fullgroupcodes.com for instant instant PTCGO code delivery. Y'all take it easy and have a great day. Peace.